So with the US Open starting in about 24 hours time, we have an updated withdrawal list because some names have pulled out since the draw's been out. Uh, some big names as well, uh, on the women's side especially. Let's go have a look at who is not playing. Also, let's have a look at who's injured going into the tournament. Okay, so starting on the women's side of things, not too many names with Kastea. She's pulled out. Zoo, of course, has pulled out as well. Von Drusova was the biggest name in the tournament before the draw came out. But since the draw's come out, Anja Burr, she's also pulled out with injury. Two years ago, she made the final. This year, she won't be playing because of injury. So a little bit of a shame there for Ons. Over on the men's side of things, we've got Rafa Nadal, of course, not playing this year's US Open. Hopefully, he plays next year's US Open. Nori also pulled out of this one. And Rusevori, he has pulled out today. He was supposed to play Sasha Zverev in the first round. So unfortunately, he can't play this US Open either due to injury. Now, let's take a look at the players that are injured going into this US Open. I picked four from the men, four from the ladies, because, of course, there are a lot of players that have injuries this time of year. It's, you know, eight months into the season. There are going to be injuries. Starting on the men's side, we've got Demonor. Hasn't played a singles match since pulling out of Wimbledon due to that hip injury. He did play a doubles match at the Olympics, but he is definitely an injury concern. Could be her catch. He pulled out of Cincinnati last week against Tiafo mid-match. So we're going to keep an eye on him as well and see what he's got going on going into the first few rounds. Carl Zalkaraz, he has just rolled his ankle in practice today or yesterday. Says he's okay, or at least it seems to be not as serious as maybe first thought, but still, he might have an ankle problem going into his first match. Novak Djokovic, he's cut his practice sessions short the last couple of days against Runa and Vavrinka, so definitely something going on there with Nole as well. Over on the women's side, we've got Maria Sakkari coming back from injury. She's pulled out of a few tournaments due to a shoulder issue, but hopefully should be okay to play. Krajikova, she's also pulled out of a couple of tournaments since Wimbledon. So really concerning there whether or not the Wimbledon champion is fit enough to play this event. Madison Keys, she's had her injury worries over the last couple of weeks as well. And Azarenka, she had to play out last week in Cincinnati, very last minute as well, before her first round. So she's got something going on as well. So there it is. Those are the players that are pulled out. Those are the players that are injured. And it's more of a concern about the injured players because the players are pulled out. They're gone. They're not going to play this tournament. So, you know, they're done and done. But on the, on the other side of things, I mean, these players might play their first rounds. There are some real concerns, especially for the contenders. And even if they do play their first rounds, how far can they go with these injuries? I mean, one match, two match, three match. We know someone like a Djokovic can win the whole thing with an injury, so that doesn't really matter. But we're talking about guys like Hercatch, you know, guy, ladies like uh, Keys, right? I mean, she had a pretty nasty injury at, at Wimbledon and, you know, has continued on to get, be injured since then as well. So really concerning for those type of players. There it is. They are the injuries. They are the withdrawals. US Open starts in a day.